Last week, we told you about these, an uptick in army worms marching across the U.S., destroying lawns, leaving plants dead in their wake. Perhaps you've had some. But tonight, the invasion not only devastating people's front yards, but potentially their livelihoods, too, as Oklahoma farmers duke it out against the army worm invasion. News Force Caitlin Ogle talked to a farmer about what he's seeing in the field. Katie? Well, the professor I spoke with says this is one of the worst fall armyworm infestations he's seen in the 24 years he's lived in Oklahoma, specifically worried about wheat farmers taking a double hit. One producer I spoke with says he's had to spray some fields more than once, but the good news is here, experts say armyworms are treatable. It's one of the worst infestations I've seen. So there's literally farmers that will say, oh, I went for a weekend to, to, to do something, came back to my pasture and it was gone. OSU Extension entomologist Professor Tom Royer says army worms are hitting the Sooner State, thriving in the summer heat. Royer says the worms have distinctive markings like the ones you see here. If you look at their face, they have a inverted Y like that. Royer says the bugs can impact a number of Oklahoma crops. Right now, the big concern is wheat. Wheat farmers is having to deal with a double whammy. Farmers planting early so the wheat will produce lush growth for cattle to eat. The worms chewing on wheat as it comes out of the ground, killing the crop if they come in large enough numbers. If it kills their stand, they'll have to replant. and They won't have um, the ability to put cattle out later in the year because there won't be enough forage build up for the cattle to feed on. Royer pushing wheat farmers to scout their fields for early signs of infestation. They'll take a, a blade of wheat and they scrape the tissue off so that you can almost see through it, but it's there's still a little tissue in there. We call that window painting. You need to have a game plan ready. Tony Kodesh, a fourth generation farmer, says it's easy to control and doesn't take a deadly insecticide. He uses this product with the same ingredients as Timbo, a commonly used bug killer. This year, some fields were spared, others had to be sprayed twice. There was a time when we sprayed and and like two weeks later had to spray again. Kodesh says treat the crops like the investment they are. You need to treat your crop kind of like you would your pet, you know, take care of it every day. <laughs> and the pr professor says we'll likely see two more generation of army worms. It takes about 30 days for them to become full adults but they'll die off when we have our first killer frost when the temperature hits about 24 degrees. Guys, back to you. Answered my question right there. When are they going to be gone? That yeah. was, that was yeah. the answer to your <laughs> question freeze. right there.